We are the oldest Chinese restaurant in the city. People from everywhere, when they come visit Chicago, they do come here and visit us. But you also have very classic Chinese American dishes. Here. Yes, yes. You won't find that in China. <laughs> we prepared this chop suey like 80 years ago. Wow. Same way. This is Soul Food, an American journey through the Chinese kitchen. I'm Gerald Tan, and right now I'm tasting both chop suey and Chicago style egg rolls. This right here is basically a deep fried barrel of yum. Neon, the gas that transformed advertising signs in the 20th century and is today intertwined with the identity of Chicago. Whether they be for the arts or sports, flamboyant neon marquees blanket the Windy City, landmarks in their own right. Even when they no longer illuminate, some still stand proudly on display, recalling a bygone era, like those of the many Chinese eateries, once collectively called chop suey houses. One of them is Chicago's longest-running Chinese restaurant, Orange Garden. An enigma in look and location, situated not in Chinatown as one might presume, but in the historically European neighbourhood of North Centre. I have several burning questions for the family running this establishment, chief among them... Chop suey, that is a totally American dish, right? Uh, not... Yes, it is an American dish, American Chinese dish. But you hesitated for a moment. <laughs> so what is chop suey then? Chop suey is just basic, basically uh, mixed vegetables. Whatever is fresh from our uh, distributors, that's what we use. But we try to retain the main ingredients, like the bean sprout, the celery, pea pods. We mix it together with uh, a variety of uh, meats, like chicken, beef, and shrimp, mm -hmm. and then saute that. So even your chop suey here, it kind of changes yes, the, the composition? Yes, it changes, yes. Ah, all right, market fresh. One culinary mystery solved, and I'm on to the next. Egg roll, a la Chicago. Question. Sure. Do you put peanut butter in your egg rolls? Uh, answer is yes. Is this something that only happens in Chicago? It's essential to put peanut butter in the egg rolls. Yeah, they are different from spring rolls. Talk about an understatement. I quickly discovered just how different. Ben, I really have to just take a closer look at this and bring this to camera even. This is a really girthy spring roll. To me, it's more, it resembles more of a chimichanga. Yes, <laughs> than, like a burrito. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna dive right in, yeah? Sure, go ahead. Huh. Mm. This is a whole meal. All right, the other thing that I really have to try is a chop suey. I mean, you got chop suey right on your sign as well. Yes. So you are a chop suey house. We mainly sell chop suey back in the days. Chop man means cut in pieces. Mm -hmm. Suey, that means into a very small pieces. Okay. So you just break it into small pieces. That's what it meant. I can't get past the name chop suey. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it just makes it sound like it's going to be leftovers. Just bits and bobs that you throw in together, but the colors are vibrant, the vegetables aren't overcooked. To me, this tastes like a really healthy stir-fry. It is. The 
real secret of Orange Garden, though, is how it's remained open for business since 1932. If you're just walking by outside, you wouldn't really notice it's a Chinese restaurant. No. It, you know, it's got that real Art Deco feel, and even the interior with the banquettes and all, it definitely takes you back in time. Very classic. It really brings you back into the 30s and 40s. Uh -huh. And we do have a picture on the wall that shows that too. Oh my gosh. When there were street carts in the front, right. and the old classic muscle cars and the, the other sedans, is there also that sense that you have a responsibility now to carry on this great tradition of this place? Being the oldest Chinese restaurant, it's a big, big, huge pressure on us because uh, we have to keep this restaurant running in order to be the, the oldest Chinese restaurant.